were back. But we were not back. But then we were. <laughs> <laughs> Molly is sitting here hoping I throw the ball for her, but it's not gonna Little happen. Does she know? She's, she's, she hasn't edited any videos yet, so fucking. Fucking thought. Yeah, so I'm not throwing the ball for her. Yeah, no balls for you, bitch. Yeah, so she's she's just chilling though. She's vibing. Yeah, like like a good like a good girl. Yep. You know you know what we didn't do for this recording session yet. How are you, Sam? How how's your week been? We are like four episodes in, my man. Five now. Five now, I guess. Yeah. Anyhow, um, I suppose it's been pretty good, all things considered. All right. Um. Once again, it's been extremely uneventful. Uh huh. I'm trying to think if anything cool happened, but I really think that it's been like just like a few hours a day where I'm conscious, and then after that, it's like I really can't tell you. Nice. <clears throat> we did have sort of a party at my parents' house. Was that this week? Was that this week? That was that pretty was recently. Week. I don't know. No, that was definitely last week. I'm fucking out. That might have been two weeks ago. I'm fucking out of my mind. No, yeah, that was definitely two weeks. There were ten days where I was home alone, fucking blurred together. Mm. Like, yeah. I just, yeah. I barely ate, barely slept. I just fucking was on the streamer grind. Editing my streams into YouTube videos, which is something I was like, I'm never gonna do that. That's way too much effort. But it turns out, if you only do like an hour long segment on your stream and edit that down into a 20 minute video, it's actually not that bad. It only takes me like two, three hours. That's pretty good. Yeah. We should maybe start doing that for Tall and Short Games at some point. Yeah, that's. <laughs> the that's thing is, the we hope. upload a lot more often for Tall and Short Games, but if we yeah. uploaded less. That's true. We uploaded less and better content. Yeah. Might, might just do better. Uh huh. But yeah. Yep. Is this feet just you always you on fire? Yes. Big guy's popping right now. He's such a good stare at that today. Uh huh. Speaking of which, can you believe this dude? Just look at all those See, I pop my neck all the time, so I feel like that's yeah. a different pop. Yeah. yeah. I may not know a whole lot about. I think little guys pop in their neck is an even better stereotype because usually it leads into them like not having, not being fucking good at what they're about to do. They're like, "All right, uh, I'm gonna go kick this guy's ass," and then they like step out of frame and then fucking fly back in, being thrown by whatever they were gonna go do. Protecting the king's daughter. No pressure. Seriously though. The princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. I fucking love this guy. Huh? What the? <laughs> so we get that ability, right? Yeah. Shows all the champions using their abilities in their flash in their initial flashbacks that they do. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. Death Mountain. Uh huh. Damn. But if the mountain is shivering, wish I could use names like that in my D and D campaign without being laughed at. <laughs> yeah. Well, fucking calling some. I don't know. I feel like that's something that's happened over time. Like Death Mountain, even though it like probably wasn't considered original back when they first used the phrase it wasn't probably wasn't overdone yeah but now like i'm sure you could find literally hundreds of things in different medias that are called death mountain and they're just volcanoes where people have perished a lot yeah <clears throat> that's why i call all my dangerous volcanoes life mountain Cause I'm original throw, as fuck. Throw him off the fucking trail. Yeah. Again. 
It's like the fucking Wizard of Oz, Phineas and Ferb episode, where they're like, oh no, they're falling into the deadly pit of spikes and lava and hatred. It's a good thing it's really improperly named, and they fall onto a bunch of pillows. Yeah. In D and D, Phineas and Ferb is so fucking good. It really is. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> wow. He just fucking was like, dumbass, of course I'm not okay. Why is it your job to be this dude's errand boy? If I can I'm go trying to figure out why, what, what's up with this X marks this I have right. no clue. Yeah, it, it's al it always goes either way too high or not as high as you need. If <clears throat> Ravioli's Gale. How is my boy Ravioli these days? Uh, dead. The ultimate voice. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, all, all of Link's friends are dead. That's why he's making new ones. Is he, though? Because so far it's just the bird guy that sings the songs. Well, no, there's a fucking uh, Sidon. Yes. Muzu kind of came around in the end. He's not as racist as he was when we first met him. Yeah. That's really cool. I mean, that's honestly <clears throat> any improvements. Good improvement for Muzu there. Yeah. My god, man. <laughs> there's uh, Riju, the little girl who's the chief of the Gerudos. Oh, that's right, that's right. She kind of likes this. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, the simp that you fucking gave his life savings to the whole. to the big fairy. Bet he'd consider you a friend. You know what? That's true. <laughs> See, Link's made a ton of friends. Damn. I never thought of it like that. I guess he isn't absolutely worthless after all. Well. <laughs> Let's not take it too far. Yeah. I mean, he saves Hyrule and then what? There's uh, another game that's kind of a prequel to Breath of the Wild, but it's not the similar gameplay at all. It's like a beat-em-up style game. Um, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me I know this one. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, Battletoads. No. Damn. I don't even know the name of it off the top. I think it's... Hi oh, Hyrule Warriors is what it's called, I think. But basically, uh, Link is kind of shown to be, like, one of the lads when it comes to the army, even though he's, like, the chosen one or whatever. Yeah. And fucking Daruk convinces him to eat a rock, and he fucking does it. Like a true lad. What a lad. Oh, by the way, those hot springs heal you. Mm -hmm. Shit, I honestly thought you were goofing me. I, was like, uh, I knew you'd I think went, so. I went into this knowing full well that you were, I was going to get fucking murdered. <laughs> nope. I, I, can, I can be honest and helpful sometimes. In fact, those are the times I find the most amusing because that those are the times where you're de like, okay, this is definitely a trap. Do it. Rock salt. You can use that for cooking. Ugh. My body wants to burn, but it's just not coming. I like how you're just trying to walk along a path and, like, seven different things have tried to kill you. <laughs> Not the button I meant You could have just taken the fucking minecart no, up. No, it wasn't, it wasn't an option. No, there was, there was a minecart on the ground. Oh, I, I guess I to... could. I always forget about Magquesis. Yeah. Magquesis. Yes. That's what I said. <laughs> it's 
fucking metal. That is. Kind of cool thing, man. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, so there was a whole thought process that went into why this reminded me of this. But I found out that um, it, on the Jackbox TV website, you can look at all the different rounds of the um, past yeah. games that you've played. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like, just off, like, device per device? Yeah. Uh, like... That sounds terrifying, actually. <laughs> yeah? I don't know if that's something I'd want to see. Let's see. I'm just going to pick a random old pair of quick lash answers. You ready? Uh... Sometimes it doesn't like to load, though. How you doing over here? Is this moblin giving you trouble? You want to eat food? Yeah. I don't know. We're only 11 minutes into the episode, though. Oh, you don't have a lot of food. I actually really don't have any food. I don't want to waste my mighty nails. Uh, what a U.S. president could say during a State of the Union address to get everybody to clap. Fuck. Or, please clap. Pied Piper, if the Pied Piper really wanted to impress us, he'd get the Wendy's Twitter account to follow him. That's fucking funny. I know exactly who did that one. That's a fucking Ethan joke right there. Uh, Parker or? Parker, yeah. Alright, time to drill their shaft. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck did you get a drill shaft? Uh, Just found it. Here, try this. Very bad, yeah. That's exactly what I was uh, Yeah. <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> struggling today, man. Christ. I am so tired. Uh, Pokemon Snap's gonna be fun. <laughs> Yeah, luckily that's the one I do commentary for, so... Yeah. Hey, and that's the one I have to fu fucking look around at things for. So actually, Pokemon Snap will go way better than this has. Yeah. That's true. Can you imagine... Oh, God. Can you imagine us playing Pokemon Snap, but I'm the one playing? <laughs> that that, that would sounds be, yeah. ultimately terrible. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, dude, I can... Not fucking wait for January 2022 when fucking Pokemon Legends Arceus comes out. I can't wait for. Why is that working? Why don't you talk to Unobu? Find out. Oh, Unobu. What the fuck, bro? This is all you, bro. Still no sign of the boss, eh? That is not the voice huh? you were doing for him. Uh, not coming. <laughs> but why, bro? Mm. After we went through all that trouble to get them them painkillers, didn't even end up working, bro? I could have taken those. Well, if the boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose we just head back now. Mm. You like weed? You got like four plates of edible brownies back at my place. We can get high as fuck. Huh? You're not going back? But why, bro? Huh? What? You're gonna try to board the Divine Beast? <laughs> why do you think you're Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there. <laughs> why bro? do you think you are Lord Daruk? <laughs> Though I guess if you were weakened at first, it might be possible. That's his real voice. <laughs> he just talks with but the fucking stoner why voice. Risk it for the biscuit, brother. Did you just hmm. like pat his hand? Just like it's okay. 
I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, bro. Yeah. The problem is, good old boss race the Bridge of Edium. I can't read that. It's Bridge of Elden. Elden, okay, because like it's it's red on red. Yeah, that, that that's there's no it. fucking shot we can read that. Yeah. <laughs> to make sure that mean beast didn't come over here. How the hell is that supposed... He could step over that so easily. He's got literal fire hands. Yeah, he, he he's walking through lava right now. What the fuck is going to stop him from coming... Straight up. Ugh. This game sometimes, bro. The boss would normally use the can to lower it, but, uh... We can't cross unless we figure something out. If the boss can't come down here, then he can't use the can to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, bro. Has this guy, like, fucking just drilled into everyone's head that he's the only one who could ever possibly use the cannons? And so, like, the second Link even thinks about using them, everybody's like, holy shit. Like, whoa, that's unheard of. Someone aside from Boss using them? Sheesh! <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, though. Uh, it's I, like it's like Germans and like driving without a license. It's just like it's not physically possible. Yeah. Uh, you know, be kind of gentle about long. Are you are you doing okay there? Me? No, I'm chilling. Okay. I'm totally I'm totally ready for fire blight again. Yeah, I I can see that. Shee! Shee! Yeah, you you know what I'm talking. About. <laughs> Carve the face into the bottom of the bridge. Because <laughs> whoever's face that is, just like diving face first. In the ass. <clears throat> he died doing what he loved, diving face first into a bunch of fucking lava. Man, he's high as fuck. Alright, time to take a bath in these hot springs real quick. Yeah. If you go into the lava, you will die. <laughs> you, you can usually see the hot springs from the map if you want to like find the nearest ones. There they are. You can fucking use the rails to go back and forth quickly. Uh huh. This guy's just gonna follow me. Apparently. Is he not gonna allow you to go back, or is he just gonna be like, okay, I'll wait here for you? I give up. <laughs> Alright, well. It's like we're fucking in this. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, if Mipha's Grace comes back up, though, then you're good. Probably won't. We'll soon. Worst case scenario, you go back to Gerudo Town and buy the fucking Hardy Durians from that one chick. Yeah, that's true. And I actually use them instead of burn them. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. That's right, you did do that. That was with Volt Fruits, though. Oh. You tried to throw them in the pot, and you just threw them into the fire instead. What? Uh, drones. They just scan the area. Yep. Remember that last stealth mission you did in the Yiga hideout and how fun that was? Uh, now do it with this bumbling idiot following you around. Uh, <laughs> he always gets spotted. <laughs> Why not? You don't think I could launch? You don't think I could swap fucking flaming balls of magma away? Huh? 
Did you read at all what he's trying to say? Yeah. No. <laughs> he's trying... He, you're going to tell him how to stop and go, and this is the signal you're going to use. You can use either a wink, or a whistle, or mind powers. If I use mind powers, will he just stay here? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, no way! Hylians have mind powers? And then you're like, no, Hylians don't have mind powers, and he gets embarrassed about it. Oh, hot springs. Oh no, never mind. I thought I thought I saw the steam was like kind of a blue color. Yeah, I know. And uh, yeah. And you wanna you wanna climb this volcano in the next episode? Cool. See you guys then.